The African Union mission in Somalia, AMISOM, through its peace strengthening and quick impact projects, has over the last 10 years implemented several livelihood programs meant to speed up the stabilization process of Somali communities in all the recovered areas in South and Central Somalia. These rapidly implementable small-scale projects that build confidence in the mission, the mandate, and the peace process, while helping to address the basic needs of local populations, are undertaken in collaboration with the federal government of Somalia and all federal member states. As such, the projects are implemented in Benadir region, where Mogadishu is based, the Southwest state, that includes Baidoa, the Jubaland state that includes Kismayo and the Hershabel state that comprises of Joha and Bele Twin. AMASOM, funded by partners that prioritize peace support operations, implement projects with varying objectives to build confidence and restore hope to the communities in the recovered areas offer. What we do at Civil Affairs is to be able to first go out there and conduct uh, assessment, assessment of the situation on the ground uh, concentrating on the needs of those communities. Dr. Kumar Primary School, established in 2009, was badly damaged in a suicide bomb attack, leading to its closure in 2016. This is one of the schools that provide education to over 400 pupils that AMISOM has renovated in Somalia under the Quick Impact Project QUIPS program. The renovation of uh, six classrooms, blocks, will facilitate access to education as a place where teaching and learning can take place in a conducive environment. This is the best way that we can uh, show that uh, the African Union is also here uh, to support, to have children back into their classes this is the best way we can secure their future. Scarcity of water is a major problem for most communities in Somalia. Here in Johar Middle Shabele region, over 27,000 people in over eight villages in October 2018 benefited from 16 new shallow wells funded by the government of Kazakhstan and implemented by the African Union mission in Somalia, AMISOM. Fitted with hand pumps, the wells were handed over to the local administration of Hershabel Estate by the African Union Special Representative for Somalia, Ambassador Francisco Maidera, in Daifa village on the outskirts of Johar town. These new approaches aim at establishing, promoting, and enhancing community engagement, as well as good practice for constructive and effective AMISOM local community relations as stipulated in AMISOM CONOP and UN Security Council Resolution 2297. Other initiatives include the donation of relief items, construction of health centers and bridges, provision of medical supplies and the donation of vehicles and motorcycles to police stations to enhance their policing activities and stabilize Somalia. As part of its initiative to boost security in the regional states, the African Union mission in Somalia, AMISOM, in early December 2018, handed over a newly built police station in Farjano district within Kismayo town to Jubaland state authorities. The handing over of Fajano police station in Jubaland is one of the ongoing reconstruction and rehabilitation of police stations in Somalia by AMISOM. As African Union felt that supporting the Jubaland state to build institutions, including the institution of police, is part and parcel of our effort to bring peace and stability. Somalia, the list includes Karan Police Station, Yashid Police Station, Denile Police Station, all in Mogadishu, and Bele Twain Police Station, among others. As always, SBF is very appreciative of Amazon's efforts. Uh, and like you said, little by little, we will reach very far. Uh, and I'm very happy to see that every time I go to the stations, there's a very close uh, 
collaboration between the FPU and the SPF officers, and that really makes me very happy to see. Such quick impact projects by Amazon and their donor partners, such as the government of Denmark and the European Union and the federal government of Somalia, have contributed to building confidence in the mission. They've helped Amasom achieve key areas of its mandate and also supported the peace support process in a number of ways. These projects have rapidly addressed key community needs that serve as the early peace dividends in the mission, cemented and supported conflict management and resolution through trainings and workshops, built legitimacy and the capacity of local authorities and organizations, and also enabled community engagement, dialogue, and interaction that comes with a process of project identification, stakeholder consultation, and project implementation. They've also helped the uniformed components of Amazon to engage with local communities through project development, monitoring, and implementation. Despite the challenges, Amazon will continue to assist the federal government of Somalia and all federal member states in establishing administrative structures, systems, and capacities in all newly recovered areas of South and Central Somalia.